Hi, I'm Iris. Welcome back to uh, episode 5 of Life is Strange 2. Um, this should be the last episode, as in a game episode. Um, no idea how long we have left in this game. We're just gonna go with it, see where it takes us. I'm gonna try and get the Puerto Lobos. We're gonna try and survive, keep our Daniel safe, and do what we can. That's all we really can do. Alright. I forget. Oh, they did give us a. Voice Once upon there. a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They lived in peace. So hunters took their dad away. The wolf brothers wandered for days and nights, learning how to live on their own for the first time. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. They decided to head south to the distant land of their ancestors. But the journey was long and dangerous. Still, the Wolf Brothers made new friends on the way. They learned more about the world. But danger seemed to always follow them after a bad accident. They were separated. The Big Brother had been hurt, and the hunters finally captured him. They put him in a cage. But when he finally escaped, he went to search for his little brother. He soon found out that the little wolf had joined a coyote cult and he would not leave them. Suddenly, their mother showed up after all that time. She said she came to help rescue him. Yep. They begged the coyote leader, but she would not release the little wolf. He was their idol. So they had to knock her out to escape. The Wolf Brothers, now reunited, followed their rogue mother far into the desert to her hideaway. And that's where we're at now. I think. I don't know how close we are to Mexico. Life is Strange 2 is a story-based game that highlights player choice. Your actions and decisions will have consequences and impact the world around you and your brother. Choose wisely. We are choosing as wisely as we can. So we're in Arizona now. I believe. Yeah, Arizona. Seven weeks after the events at Haven Point. So that's... Uh... Almost two months. What? How long has it been? Oh, hello, scorpion. Do people eat scorpions? I forget. Sometimes I look at a scorp- I see a picture of a scorpion, I'm like, mmm, I want to take a bite. But that would probably not be the best idea, because the stinger is scary. And we're walking a cool eye patch now. Oh, he's holding on to us. And his hair's long again! Thank God! Hey. Wake up, Sean. Mm. Dude, come on. What? What time is it? Get up! So beautiful. Check it out. Oh, we are on our own again? I think we are. Is this the Grand Canyon? Or is that in Arizona? I forget what that is. I think we're on our own again. Careful. <laughs> so? Yeah, okay. Good call. Wow. It's amazing. 
And her hair is long again, too. I know. Is your eye okay? Yeah. It just itches. It's okay, Nano. I... Promise. Yeah. Uh, okay. I love you. No matter what happens. You hear me? Yeah. I love you too. Brothers. Always. So, are you still having those bad dreams? You know, about Lisbeth? Yeah. Sometimes I feel like she's around, coming after me. It's scary. She's scared. She's lucky. She's lucky you didn't go after her. Yeah, but she's still out there. Somewhere. Creeps me out. She has no power in we together. Listen. We're far away from her, okay? We're together again. Safe. Hope so. Sean. Are we criminals now? No. No way. We did exactly what we had to. If the cops catch us, we'll be judged for what we did. That's for sure. Yeah. I know. Well, we're almost at the border. Finally. I like it here, but we'll have to leave soon. I know. I'm sorry, Anna. Sean, I know it's been a long time. Can you tell me the rest of the wolf story? Of course. Oh. Yeah, I can tell you. Been forever since we left off. Way too long. Hmm, let's see. Oh yeah, okay. So, thanks to their mama wolf, the wolf brothers barely escaped from the coyote cult. She led them to her secret lair, deep in the red desert. The wolf brothers rested for a while. But at some point, they'd have to continue their journey south. They were closer than ever to their father's land, but between them and their destination lied a mighty fire unicorn. <laughs> but sure. she's nice, so they become friends. <laughs> uh, um, excuse me, who's telling the story? You are, but it's my story too. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's true. It's our okay, story. Then. So what happens next? Uh... They... They arrive in Mexico. But the country is rampaged by goblins. Together, the wolves and the unicorn manage to slay them. And become heroes. The police forgives them. And all their friends come to Mexico to celebrate. <laughs> yeah. Sounds pretty good, and I know. Let's pack this shit up and head back to town. Gotta clean up our stuff before we leave. And this place is. <laughs> Every star looked the same until we used Karen's old guidebook. I'm glad we had these. 
not a fan of desert critters. Oh, definitely not. Uh, telescope? So incredible to see all those stars and planets up close. <laughs> it's like we're right there. Oh, pack our- oh, our inventory's different. What is he Daniel would have to have these things in a cell phone. Forget to bring water in this desert and you're dead meat. This one ended up being so useful. Thanks again, Dad. Pencils. Days are hellfire, but nights can be chilly out here in the desert. Oh, we can have Daniel's inventory. Karen wants to talk. It's hard, but I've been trying to hear her out. Not sure I'll ever understand what she's been through or what she's after, but I could try. We got Daniel. Finally, the freak guru can go to hell now. Feels so good to be with my bro again. Leaving Heron Haven Point. Karen's taking us to her place. We need to sleep. We need to breathe, sleep, heal. Blah, blah, blah. Sarah Lee just needs to go. Karen lives in a desert commune. Known shit. Unincorporated community, she said. It's called Away. Only 30 people live here on off. This place is so weird, but the desert is mind-blowing perfect hideaway. Daniel's still feeling so confused, guilt tripping a lot. He can't figure out what happened. The brainwashing of the wise, Elizabeth scraps over his trauma, doing her best to help him recover. They should be fine now. Karen is a big help too. She's good with words. That letter from Jacob and Sarah made him happy. Daniel needs more friends, so do I. Sean, we pose and It's a tornado or hurricane. Total trip to live with Karen again. She wants to move on. That's easy for her to say. I'm trying. Daniel's getting better. I can see he loves having mommy back. Yeah. Is our mom. Daniel's power. There's no secret here. No one gives a shit. They just go along with it. And don't see it as something they can use to their own advantage. Refreshing. Grar. Who's gonna tell? We're already the batshit crazy sand people, David. So, this place away is what you make it. Joan haunts it with cool ass sculptures made from scavenged scraps. She's a cool and stunning woman. Karen's closest thing to best friend seems. Cool as heck ornamental tattoos. Take my time today. Arthur and Stanley live in one of the only proper houses in town. They built it together ten years ago from ruins of their past lives. These two can't stop teasing each other, but they're so inspiring. Old couple, young love. Oh, how cute. Got a letter from the Humboldt crew today. So cool. Would love to hang with them again someday. This place makes me want to draw. Could stare at these canyons forever. There are some Daniel drawings. Daniel needs to vent out. He's been having nightmares about Haven Point and Elizabeth for weeks. Still feels guilty, but I need to find ways to help him process this. We need therapy, man. Karen told us about a cool camping spot. Reached the top after a long hike across the canyon. Track sessions feel like forever ago. Need to work on my cardio. Don't fall, mate. Or some major man horror serious. Probably the best view ever. Gonna stargaze all night. Thanks to Arthur's telescope. Daniel seems happy. Awesome. So now, this is chat, uh, episode 5, Wolves. So we're in Arizona now. And we are very close to Mexico. Lovely. Okay. Says there is exclamation point. We can attach this to our backpack. Um, you know what? Let's put some souvenirs on this bitch. Um rolls. Fuck it, we'll pin a feather. Let's pack a telescope. I hope we can go watch the stars again. Mom said there's a moon eclipse coming up soon. <laughs> I'm in. This place is cool. I could just move here. Wasn't there a moon eclipse in hey, the first Hey, I can one? help. Just tell me what you want to put in there. You are the man. Food container? God damn. That food was amazing. <laughs> Thanks, Joanne. Oh, Joanne. Yep. Still need our processed sugar in this hippie desert. 
Yo, Captain Can, can you take these away? Sure. Perfect formation. Oh, the flashlight we can put away too. Let's do food. Let's do flashlight. That's important. Activate flashlight. On the way. Food container. Let's clean up this mess. Not if it cleans up by itself. Stop. Daniel. Can't catch it, huh? No shit. Now cut it out. Jeez. You're no fun. Let's pack up our... Can we pack our sketchbook? Oh, we can draw. I should draw here. Why not? Ooh, sketching time. Good idea. I'm glad you can still draw after. You know. <laughs> Me too, Daniel. But if I can see it in my mind, I can still sketch anything. Hmm. Almost. That's so cool. I don't want you to stop drawing. Ever. <laughs> I won't. Thanks, man. This is so cool. It's cool how, like, as we move on in this series, we, um... Hey, can you draw me as a superhero? Like, striking a pose over the canyon. Hmm. I can try. Badass. Tada. Finished. Let me check it out. Jeez. Do I really look that evil? He looks more like a super villain. I think. I didn't mean to make him evil. I thought he was looking badass. I'm sorry. Let's pack that up. My back hurts a little. I'm glad we're sleeping in our bed tonight. Oh, good. I swear Dad had that same book in the garage. Yeah, I think he did. Why did he never show it to us? Maybe it reminded him of Mom too much. Oh. Yeah, right. Well, let's hit the trail, cowboy. What are you doing? What the fuck, dude? Don't do that. What's wrong? Stop messing with it, man. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, little guy. Don't get eaten by eagles. Do eagles eat scorpions? No idea. <laughs> cool. Let's go. Shit, I don't know if that was the right choice. I was trying to do... He... Sean never matches my tone perfectly. He's always like, "Don't do I wish this." I saw my falling stars, or any. <laughs> we saw the Milky Way. Hey, we saw the Milky Way, dude. How cool is that? Yeah, that's true. And Mars. That was so cool. Arthur and Stanley let us use the telescope. Wait, was yeah. There? These guys are real cool. Was there anything else around here? I just wanted to see what else was here, in case I could pick anything up. Didn't Joanne will let me help her with the sculpture when we get back? Hell yeah. I... I like the magic assistant. It's nice to be able to use my power out here. Not hide it. Yeah. Karen was right. They're all cool with it. Mom doesn't say much about my power. Why do you think? 
She's confused. She's um, confused. Like, what do you mean? She's my mom. I don't know, buddy. It's just amazing that anything can grow out here. Does it ever rain in the desert? Well, oh, uh, good question. Uh, hmm. Are these things poisonous? Now what the hell is that? Or something? <laughs> it's a cactus, dude. It stings. That's all. <laughs> Lame. Daniel? I see something behind this rock. Can you bring it over? Ah, oh, gotcha. I see. Here it comes. Ooh, look at that. So cool. Yep. We're taking this treasure. What was it? The magic place. What is that? Let's play. Oh, I can only have one thing pinned to my backpack. It's like Rose Quartz, though. That's really cool. I wish we could have more keychains. Do we? We don't have access to Daniel's inventory. Pretty useless with the crazy moonlight we had, but scares coyotes away. Now I'll be able to look at the stars in a new way. Thanks, Karen. Sorry, hippies. We still gotta have our candy. Joanne makes the best curries ever. Karen hooked us up with some cool camping gear. I miss our old blanket. We definitely have, ha have to get a telescope like this. Gotta give it back to Arthur when we get back. Karen hooked us up with some cool camping gear. Cool camping gear. Okay. We gotta walk back to town. <sighs> Damn. I've got the munchies. Hope Karen has some food. Are we high? Is there? Good thing I'm not scared of heights. So what's up, my little man? It's pretty crazy out here, huh? Oh, oh! Oh, man. So many wolves in this desert. <laughs> <laughs> I did not want to fall off. That was not what I was trying to do. I was trying to see if we could interact with him. My legs are gonna be like yours after all this hiking now. <laughs> Ledge. <laughs> Do you want help, buddy? Here you go. You know, I could have done it by myself, right? Hey, let me be the cool, helpful big brother once in a while. Okay. Oh, look, look. Oh, man. I just saw a cool baby lizard. Yeah, and you scared it. <sighs> I know. It's nice to be able to not. Looks like a job for our local super psychic boy. So, maybe you can help us get out of here? Mm. I'll try. Step back. Be super careful. We. <laughs> there you go. I hope it's okay. <laughs> nice man. What's next? I have a feeling that something's not gonna be right when we get back. I hope it's okay. I'm just scared. I'm, I'm just anxious. <sighs> it's nice to not have to worry about <sighs> super crazy things for once. Yeah. 
shivered. Eh, life is strange too. Episode 5, Wolves. That's us, baby. Go for it. I have to bring back the telescope to Stanley and Arthur. Went to town for weekly supplies. Some pancakes left in the kitchen? <laughs> back soon. Daniel, you copy? Yes, I read you. 10-4. I have a pancake alert in the kitchen. Repeat, pancake alert. Oh, man. Sorry, I was gonna eat with Joanne. Over and out. 10-4. No flying pancakes today. Can we go eat the pancakes? Oh, we have a lot of things to look at. Holy shit. Okay, um... Name tag. Either Karen was desperate for a job, or she loved working with kids. Happy world. Karen has been camping in her own house since we arrived. Water. Whoa. I hope Karen sends this to Claire and Steven. Hi, Mom and Dad. I've been thinking about this letter for a while, and I know it's been a long, long time coming, so I'm sitting here tonight thinking about the words I should have written ten years ago. You st always used to say everything happens for a reason. We fought about it then. I understand why now. There is a reason. I feel like I have to reach out to you both tonight from the desert. I know you've only heard from me once by phone and six times by letter by for almost a decade. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. I'm certainly not trying to punish you, like you told me. Don't laugh. I just didn't know what to say or write. Poet's block. Just like how you had to block me from your life after I left Esteban. I understand. That was how you had to deal with a problem child, an only child who didn't live up to your expectations. There's no denying that I failed you, but the burdened weight of your aspirations. His parents failed me too. He had such a rigid opinion of what I was supposed to be that I just didn't have the chance, opportunity to explore who I actually was. You wanted a daughter to grow up happy, find a good job and great husband, sell down to Brie, oh my god, have kids and raise them in faith to continue the cycle of suburbia. That daughter wasn't me. I know that you were raised in a different time and culture, so I didn't understand your point of view. Like, you didn't understand your way with daughter. I maybe bridged too far for us at the time. After Danny was born, you knew I wanted to take a break, some time to figure things out in my head and heart. It didn't make sense to you or you or dad, and I get that, but you didn't see how. I was so desperate, and only Esteban was willing to give me that time because he saw how unhappy I was. I don't blame you for my decision to leave, and maybe a timeout would have led to the same outcome. We will never know, and I try not to live in regret. My life has been a roller coaster, and there have been times I long to hear your voices and thoughts, even the negative ones. I know that when I last talked to you in New York to ask for help in paying back my debts, you wanted to help. It was on your condition to return right back to where I couldn't return. I hate that was our last conversation. I'm sorry I reached out to you to this day. I'm sorry I broke your heart. I'm sorry I let you broke mine for silence silencing me for so long. I think we've paid our dues. And now I sit under a blue field of crystal stars like the poet I hope I am, writing and waiting for a chance to rebuild an old bridge with my mother and father. I hope we can cross it one more time. Love, your daughter. Poems. She's really good at rewriting her own life. I am a solo Mobius trip. Just when I reach the end, I go back to the, de the beginning. Resign myself to new faces, the privilege to escape and rewrite another draft. Goddess laughs at plans, then shows me the page left our mark for years. Out in the ghost deserts, the seeds return as saplings to reveal their age and power. Now I go back forward, layered with fear and hope, to water the children of the sun. This one's pretty intense. I think I get it. 
don't believe I would find a soul within or without a church. A miracle was sleep and food and fuck. A miracle, a day without shit. Until it was not. Now we return to celestial spires. Oh, visions of the fake prophet, engulfed in ego and belief. As the burning cross falls on all your cruel angels, I am the bonfire of vanities. So when the dam breaks, we all flood like gra glass on a mirage. If I believe. I can take our USB key. With this? I don't know what that will do. <laughs> Karen doesn't even like to leave this place just to go shopping. Karen must have been so excited to finally hit New York. Fly by night, not by fright, into the big city bright. Stop. That cliche never dying in the steel of the buildings, the warp of the street. But no matter what or where I spin, the pool of a million dead poets takes me to dance once again. Go. But this time, I get to lead. Until the next flight. Oh, look at our little cranes. That's a picture. Karen looks so young and fragile on this picture. Hmm. Hard times. Maggie and Karen, Summer 11. Kissing me, Florida. Looks like they all finally found their home. Jacob's letter. I'm so glad Jacob and his sister are doing okay. Well, they Sean, deserve some peace. I'm sorry I did not write to you sooner, but this was the first time I've had a chance to relax after we got out of Haven Point. Thanks to you and your brother. Still can't believe it really happened. So bizarre. Sarah, Lee, and I do miss our parents, but we're not ready to let them know where we are yet. We'll figure it out later. With the money you gave me, I could pay a month's rent in advance for a room in a small town on the coast. Sarah Lee loves it. She's much better now thanks to the antibiotics. We're doing great. The most important thing to me is my sister, just like your brother. You're lucky to have each other and we were blessed. Just like when you both came our way. I'm trying to track down our humble cruel crew, so I'll keep you posted. I hope everyone is okay after that night on the farm. We all deserve a break and a better future. Please let me know when you make it to the other side. You and Daniel got this. Give our little hero a big hug. Take care, Jake. Oh, there was an another page. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Looks like Lila has some competition now. Hi, Daniel. I hope you're good and happy. I feel so much better now. I'm so happy I got to see the ocean for the first time. Even try to surf. I think I could be good at it. I wish you were here so we could go to the beach, even if the water's cold. I love this weather way more than the heat. Please come see us soon. Thanks for being one of my best friends, Sarah Lee. Aww. Clothes. Oh, we can tidy up. Box? She was that close. Sucks she had to pay all that money back. Dear Ms. Reynolds, pursuant to our conversation on June 10th and your inability to submit your poetry manuscript the other way to Ravensbury Press by the contracted deadline of June 1st, 2010, despite repeated efforts to accommodate you, regret to inform you that this breach of contract means we shall no longer be publishing the collection as part of our new poet series. A sec same section VI of our contract, the attached copy. If the author fails to deliver the manuscript by the agreed date, the publisher has the right to cover the full amount of the $10,000 in advance. We have included this letter, a repayment form, the schedule, a state, and section blank of our contracts, the attached copy, the rights for your manuscript shall revert back to the author upon full repayment of the advance. If you have any further questions, please refer them to our legal team. We wish you the best of luck with your future endeavors. Sincerely, ask Dear Moon, Poetry Editor, Ravensbury Press. Huh. Is that the same person who wrote her back in Beaver Creek? Yes. Hi, Rumi. Yes, I know. New York in August is hot as well. So you did say you like the heat, but my apartment under the roof can be really suffocating. Don't want to rub it in, but Aspen is my new summer home. Daily temp around 70 degrees Fahrenheit, hot tub at night. Anthony's cabin is more like a ski lodge. Next trip, maybe you can tag along. Poets retreat. Best cure for your writer's block. Please let me know when you can pay me back for August's rent. I definitely need it for next month. And up here in Aspen. I'll see you on December, September 5th instead of the 4th. So put your clothes on. 
Say I'll trouble and remember to water my babies this time. Love you, Emma. Our bed. So good to have a home. Again. And a real bed. Drifter's letter? Glad they're back on track. Hmm. I'll always have a crew out there. Yo, Diaz, our boy Jacob hooked us up with your P.O. box. You can't hide your ass from us, bitch. We know you're in the desert like a lizard. Missy a penny. Help you and Daniel free now. Colorado's more weed and rednecks, but less violent. We can chill until we just decide where to go next. Hannah. Hard to believe Finn isn't out here to start shit anymore. We don't miss him for that, but he'll get a few more songs out of me. We want to remember him for his angels, not his demons. Mexico isn't that far, so get ready for some immigrant immigrants coming your way. Take care of your brother and let me take care of you. Peace out, Casty. And she gave us a phone number. Nice. Bra. Oh, that's our mom's. She changed my diapers, but... <laughs> It feels kind of awkward to be here. Yeah, bro, don't don't sweat it. It's fine. I'm medicine. <sighs> Gotta keep my eye lube handy. <sighs> Glad I don't need it as much. Oh, good. Yeah, our eye patch is cool as fuck. Snake clamp. Ugh. Wish Karen didn't tell me she got a rattlesnake out of the toilet last week. Yeah, it happens. VHS tape. Dad was an absolute fan of this movie. Chupacabras from outer <laughs> space. Maybe they were nerds together. Maybe. Uh, laptop Karen's tab, Sean's tab is USB key fan. Man. I'm still not used to this heat out here. It takes a while. Oh, there's his sweater. We grabbed it for him. Pancakes, hot sauce. Bring the telescope back to Arthur. Check on Daniel is our objectives. I... I'm gonna look at the hot sauce. I do remember Karen would drown her pancakes in hot sauce. Ugh. Gross. We can eat our pancakes. Birthday candles. Daniel's Big Ten late birthday party made him feel so happy. Oh, that's wonderful. We got to celebrate his birthday. Um... Let's look at Karen's tabs. We're a little snoopy. Had no clue there was a network of seed pirates. <laughs> Karen's a real life hacker. Native seed savers in Southwest. Oh, that's really cool. Right, because you can't buy them from official stores. Karen takes on some small piece works for a living. <laughs> Must pay better than poetry. Hi, Karen. Thanks for your latest adv last advice column. We got quite a response on a lot of hits. I know you don't want a social media footprint, but you could generate a lot of clicks with your insights. Looking forward to your next piece. Please make sure you send your invoice for May and June. Neat. Let's look at Maya tabs. Brody's so good at describing painful situations. And seeing the good into it. Well, it's Brody. A tribe co called West. You can go home again. Last time I saw my mother before this year, I was telling her to leave me the fuck alone. That I was done with the whole bullshit family. My real family were the strangers I met on the road who became my friends, and all my family who became strangers. I adopted all the online connections I made around the world. All those wandering souls I would counter on my journeys ahead. You would be reading about them right now, except the last t next time I saw my mother, she was in hospice care at our Utah home. Her body light and frail as a web, holding my hand, telling me she was sorry about everything. I kept us apart for most of my adult life. My mom was dying of cancer and she was sorry. I cried. She cried. My brother cried. We all cried. And all the years the family bullshit blew away to dust like that. I just wasn't mad anymore. I didn't know it would be so easy or so hard. It didn't mean the past didn't happen or that I wasn't responsible my own way. My brother used to tell me I was a fake liberal because while I was out trying to save the world, he had to take care of mom and the family estate. Maybe he was right. I told him that he also had the money to take care of him. God damn. If I was in charge of the finances, I would have given away the family estate and we'd be broke living in a co-op. My brother knows this. Families are just fucking weird. Society tells us to love your parents and siblings simply out of blunt chance, but what if you hate each other? What if you're only linked by random DNA? What if... Whatever. It doesn't matter. I've seen the best and worst of people everywhere I roll. 
You tend to have those extremes at 3 a.m. in an empty gas station or some desolate freeway. Yes, I've seen strong families bond in hard times. I know there are big siblings out there who will always care for their little siblings and vice versa. They helped me to understand our fragile filial ecosystem. In her last hours, my brother and I held my mom's thin fingers as she passed on to a place I hope is better than the one she came from. After she was gone, I found some, a stash of some old school essays and stories. The only thing I was good at in school. I never knew she kept this stuff or that she cared. Even if we never understood each other, she must have been a little proud that I went my own way and tried to be a force for good. Mothers must know how to make- mothers know how to make you cry like a little bitch. The first time tears had burned my eyes in a long time, it felt good. So now, I've come back to a home I once vowed to never return. I don't feel so alienated this time, even if I still am. Like I say too often, there's a difference between being alone and being lonely. Now I have an estate to deal with, and more responsibility than I actually want. But I have to see this as karma, or destiny, or the dharma of the privileged. Don't panic, but I may be taking a break from my life on wheels, just to see who or what I can help. Now I have more resources to spread around. I'm sure my brother will prude, insert sarcasm, if we're still talking after all this memorial bonding. Okay, it's not a happy ending, but maybe it's a hopeful one. And speaking of hope, given the sad state of the sad nation, I've been thinking it's time to move outside my comfort zone. Send dispatches from places and people I'm not so familiar with. Places I can explore and tell new stories from, like Canada or Mexico or the road never ends. We miss you too, Lila. Always. Me during the day, all good under control. Me at 3 a.m. in my bed. Ah! Lila Parker, the new picture. of a new picture. My baby birthday baby bro daniel diaz missing not forgotten i'll make a wish for you 10 people like this free the families is she protesting for us caesar you speak key whoa i should have gone through that flash drive weeks ago we got math homework movies and stuff other crap pictures misty mice tickets drawings hey dad Lila always knew how to crack me up. Check your speak key? Whoa. Lila always knew how to crack me up. Whoa. It's the same. Why is there the same two options for the. Okay. There's two options for the exact same thing. Um, let's go eat our pancakes, why not? One thing Claire and Karen have in common. Their love for pancakes. It is our time. Are we really 43 minutes in already? Holy shit, this is... This episode's gonna be a long way. Um, gonna be... Or, I mean, the gameplay of this episode's gonna be a long one. Hmm. <laughs> Arthur and Stanley probably want their telescope back. Yeah. We have so many things to look at. Holy shit. I want to look at all of them. Cards. It's nice to play games with Daniel again. Yeah. Huh. Karen likes to join us, too. Old gift. Still can't believe she's kept it. Aww. Daniel stuff. Nice mess. <laughs> Daniel will never change. Aaron's water filter? Karen taught me some cool off the grid shit. Nice. Is there. Stumbling from failure to failure. Beep Creek sign. Ooh, Karen, you are so busted. Oh, right, we have our walkie-talkie. Hey, do you miss Beaver Creek? I miss having a house. But the town was kind of dead. But I really miss Chris. And Grandma and Grandpa. I'm just glad we're still a family out there. Yeah. 
Can we call him? Come in. You copy out there? Over. 10-4. Told you I'm with Joanne. So, come on over. When Nikon is great, we can't call Daniel, right? Water management is kind of a big thing around here. Dude, we could put red food coloring in the water and turn this into a blood tank. Yeah, but then everybody would freak out. Plus, you can't do food coloring out here. Another cacti. cacti. Ooh, stickers. Can I take them? We could also try to be self-sufficient when we're in Mexico. I want to take one. Yeah. Gimme. Yeah. I love stickers. She-Wolf. 100% certified organic. Oh, there's a... Keychain thing. Karen's trailer. Oh, we can look at... Karen did help us a lot since she found me and Daniel. Hmm. Better late than never. Uh, crops? Karen practices what she preaches. She barters with her food. Not money. I used to have garden boxes in the house I grew up in. Kind of like these. My dad and I built them together. Excuse me. Water boy. Did you remember to feed the crops? I never forget. Ask mom. But no way I could grow stuff like she can. Uh, maybe in Mexico. Oh yeah. We can grow a lot of stuff there. There's so much to look at. Holy moly, I love it here. Solar panels. Pretty smart. You're never gonna run out of sun in the desert. Mm-hmm. Uh, what else? God, there's so much to look at and see. That's so cool. Oh, I'm... Wait! Wait a second! <laughs> Looking at this place, I see that Karen really wanted to get away from it all. <laughs> Literally. That... That's not the drawing sh that Chloe and Max did, right? Right? We have sixteen dollars nineteen cents. Wait, don't we Okay, now we have Daniel's inventory again. Um It's the drawing we did. I thought that totally looked super familiar. Maybe I'm thinking of a different drawing. Road sign. No services um, ahead. Um, more like no service anywhere. There's a bunch of cool cars and stuff here. This part of town is dead this time of year. I should stay around here. Okay. Guess people came here with these and never left. Oh, that's some cool fucking artwork. Swap box? Oh, that's so cool. It's so cool that people want to give a second life to their stuff. Oh, and like a little library too? Oh, I love that. We helped Joanne set up this giant vacuum with binoculars, as David calls it. Love the energy out here. With everyone building stuff as they please. Yeah, it's really, really cool. God, there's so much cool shit out here. Um, let's go to this one. David's trailer. I should bring the telescope back to. David always wants to help, but he's tough to figure out. <gasps> Dave, wait, 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 wait. David from. Wait! Wait! I hope the UFOs are listening. Wait! Wait a second! Wait! Wait, 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 wait. 
David, wait, wait a second. Supposedly fun thing I'll never do again. Wait. No matter what happened before, Karen did hook us up here. Wait, can we talk to David? That counts. Is this the same David from... Daniel's drawing, don't do bad, please. Yeah. Daniel still misses Chris. Hey. Your Captain Spirit drawing was awesome. <laughs> Thanks. Wish I could show it to Chris. Do you think he can visit us down in Puerto Lobos? Uh, why not? Yep. Let's make it happen. Yeah. Instead of snowmen, we can make sand castles. There's a satellite dish. We watched a French cooking show with them the other day. <laughs> Stanley is such a tech nerd. Is David the same one from... Did he survive Arcadia Bay? Morning, Sean. Morning, guys. Wish I could be as cool and as wise as these guys when I get older. Morning, guys. Fireworks. Arthur and Stanley cannot wait for the 4th of July. <sighs> Me neither. Birds. Look at that. I thought there was only vultures in the desert. Hey. Here's your telescope back. Hey, what's up? Morning, Sean. Join us. Have a seat. Hey, just in time for our special desert brew. And dust free. Thanks. So much. Sean, it's too early to be so awake. No kidding. Hey, how was your sleepover in the canyon? <sighs> Amazing. We watched the sunrise. Daniel loved it too. That's my favorite view out here. It's like ancient times, but it never gets old. Unlike us, darling. Oh, I love I them. Daniel be here long after we're gone. Hope you looked up. We did. Thanks for hooking us up. <laughs> Anytime. Even my daughter Becky loves to stargaze when she visits us. That's the only way to get Arthur to camp now. Becky is the real astronomer in the family. Wonder where she got this. From her mom, probably. Hope you guys get to meet Becky. Does she visit a lot? Does she come visiting often? <sighs> Not as much as I'd want. Can't really blame her. But you know, well, some parts of the year, this place is full of friends and family. Christmas, for example. Hmm. Never get bored? So, don't you ever get bored? Being out here is a big change. We do sometimes. We're in a desert. Oh, I miss the parks, cafes, shopping. But this place is something else. And we feel safe out here. If you could have seen me as a family man a few years ago, I had everything but nothing. Now I have nothing but everything. Thanks to this one. Oh, I love them. After we got together, we both had serious breakdowns. Then we got the hell out of the Bay Area. For the better. I hear that. I'm just so fucking tired of running. I hope me and Daniel find our own... away. You will. People come here to reset their life. Become the person they want to be. Or used to be. You're smart. You'll figure out your next direction. Right, Gramps? Speak for yourself, Grandpa. My body might be 59, but I'm 25. <laughs> uh-huh. I'll remember that on the next hike. I'm gonna see what Daniel's up to. Thanks for the desert, Brew. I start crying a bit. I adore them. These, These are... two remind me of Claire and Steven. In a weird, hippie version. They're so cute. Um, let's see, we're almost done with the episode. Hold on, I have to dry my eyes really quickly. 
<laughs> it makes this me... This is such a weird fucking place. It's so cool. But that's what's cool about it. Now that's some real patriots. Yeah! Kneel for the gay pride flag! <laughs> oh. Oh, not again. <laughs> it's kind of cute, though. <laughs> you hey, Sean. What were you doing at Arthur and Stanley's place? You're a little too young to be stalking me, dude. Um, you know what? I saw them kissing the other day. Kind of weird. What? It's normal. You know it's actually normal for people in love to kiss, right? I know. I just mean, they're really cute together. I hope somebody cares about me like that when I get old. But hey, artist, come by Joanne's place. We're making wild sculptures. <laughs> Hold up. I'll be over in a minute. So it totally interrupted the dialogue I was going to have about the wood bear. Can I still discuss it? That's what it? I love about you. No. Okay. I could get used to that How scenery. How far can I wander? This part of town is dead this time of year. I should stay around here. Can I? No. Funny. That's exactly the reason I came here. To get more daylight. Uh, there was a town sign. Where is it? Oh? What if the police find out what you can do? That's just too sad, honey. Let's see. Um, there's a town sign. I bet Hippie started this place. Welcome to Away. I'm starting to see why now. Late of the past day, you can forever stay. Can we go this way? Oh, there's so much to look at. Okay, um, I'm gonna look at a few more things and then we'll end the episode. I really don't care about Too going Too bad over there's anymore. nobody my age here. Glorious, but, huh. but this is where people come to get old. Like in your hand? Yeah. It tickles in my fingers. Almost like pins and needles. That's so weird. <laughs> I love it. Glad to see that artists are allowed to make a mess. I love sustainable living so much. Karen and Joanne spend evenings playing and chatting. <sighs> Kinda like me and Lila. Back in the day. It's nice to have a friend. Joanne can throw a total rager out here. <sighs> but without asshole neighbors. <laughs> this place is the ultimate playground for Daniel. Metal sheet. I love how they recycle everything into art, construction, or agriculture here. Yeah, it's really badass. What's up, Joanne? See for yourself. Man, check this out. Okay, Daniel, let's take a little break. Got it. That child is something special. Yeah, I hear this one a lot. Don't worry. Mm, yeah, I bet. <laughs> but you have your own talent, Sean. I'm dead serious. Uh, not to learn. <laughs> talent? Thanks. But I still have a lot to learn. Of course you do. Only dumbasses think they know everything. <laughs> That's so true. It's okay to not know stuff. Yeah. Don't worry so much about the outcome. An artist has to take a leap of faith about every other week. It's about the process. Did you always want to be an artist? <laughs> Good grief, no. I tried very hard not to be one. Hm. Till I realized it was useless. Listen, if you want to be an artist, you will be. It's not always easy, but in the end, it's pretty fucking cool. Speaking of, do you mind giving me a hand here? Oh, 
Uh, I don't know if I can. Yes, you can. I just need your input, okay? All right. Okay. Sure. Why not? Ah, there you go. Now, go stand over there. Daniel, you ready to start again? Oh, yes. Hold on. Ah, oh, look at that little thing. I love it. That's so gender. So, for my next trick, I'd love to see if you can connect these three pieces. I've made a model of what I have in mind here, but go ahead and be the artist. And we don't need a crane to lift this stuff. <laughs> Daniel can snap these together like block toys. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's what I said. Uh, you know what? We'll continue this in the next episode of Life is Strange 2. Um, we'll, we'll do it when we can. Um, thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Make sure you take care of yourself. Get enough food, get enough water, get enough rest, and just be kind to yourself in general because you deserve it. Also, tell someone you love them because you may not know how much they need it, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!